Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today I wanna to go over my accessories for the Leica Q3. If you're new to the channel, I am a portrait photographer based out of Miami, Florida, and I primarily shoot with Leica and Sony. With the Leica Q3, Leica released a set of new accessories in multiple colors, and I picked up a few of them, as well as some third-party accessories, and I wanted to show you what I got and why I got it. With that said, Let's kick things off. So I decided to pick up the new round hood as well as the shutter release and thumbs up support. As you can see, I chose the silver color because I am a big fan of silver. If they made this camera in silver, I'd be extremely happy. And I think it adds a nice pop of color. These accessories do come in black and they also come in brass. And the silver and black ones are made out of aluminum and the brass color ones are actually made out of brass. Now. I ended up actually taking out the round hood and replacing it with a silver square hood. So one day I was browsing in Leica Miami's website, like I usually do, so shout out to Leica Miami, they are great. And I saw that they sold replacement parts for certain Leica cameras. They were actually selling the replacement hood for the original Leica Q, which came in silver. As you all know, the Leica Q1, 2, and 3 have used the same lens, which means the accessories that fit the Q1, fit the Q2, and Q3 as far as hoods go. So I decided to pick up the replacement hood for the Q1 and installed it on my Q3. So I still maintain that cool silver look, but I go back to a square hood, which I much prefer. The reason why I didn't like the round hood, it's because you now have to use a separate lens cap that is not included. And I'm not a big fan of how the round hood looks with the Leica Q3. But having a square hood makes it look like a Q. Having the silver makes it look different and it really complements the silver shutter release and thumbs up. For the shutter release, the Leica piece is extremely expensive. You could probably get a Amazon one for five bucks and save some money because all it is is a piece of plastic or maybe aluminum. You can't even tell it's so lightweight it doesn't really change the shooting experience. So for that one, I don't necessarily regret it, but if I could do it over again, I would probably get a cheaper one on Amazon. For the thumbs up support, this is an accessory I buy with every single Leica. I'm six foot three, I have larger hands, and these cameras are fairly small. So having a thumbs up support gives me an additional point of contact with the camera and just gives me a better grip overall. I love the way these cameras feel with a thumbs up and I always buy this accessory. So for me, this is the one must have. If you were to buy one accessory for the Q, I strongly recommend the thumbs up support. If the official Leica one's a little too pricey, look at third party options. It really changes and enhances the grip and the feel of the camera to the point where I think it's a must have accessory. Now, as you can see in the camera, I also have a grip and this isn't the Leica grip. I did try the Leica wireless charging grip and that grip was great, but I ended up realizing that wireless charging just wasn't for me and I preferred USB-C charging. With that grip, it's actually a little deceiving because it looks like it has an Arca Swiss plate but it actually doesn't. It is just a flat bottom so it's able to stand up on the wireless charger. If you've used the M11, and I'm gonna apologize, it's raining outside, so if you can hear uh, the rain, it's, uh, it's pouring right now, but if you use the Leica M11's grip, it has a built-in Arca Swiss plate, and I was really wanting that for my Q3. There's a company called IDS Grips that sells a grip for the Q that has an Arca Swiss plate built in and is made out of metal. This grip is really, really solid because it's not bulky and it's not intrusive, and it gives you that extra functionality with a tripod. Additionally, it has open ports so you can access your battery and your SD card without having to remove the grip, which is another nice to have feature. So pairing this IDS grip with the Leica Q and the thumbs up support has given me just the perfect grip on this camera that I always feel comfortable holding it without a strap and I don't ever feel like I'm gonna drop it. This is a match made in heaven for me. And to top it off, there's two more accessories I have. I did purchase the official Leica screen protector that I've had on since day one. I wanna make sure I protect the screen. I've never actually scratched a camera screen before, but you know, with a camera this expensive, I wanna make sure I take every precaution to avoid even putting myself remotely close to scratching it. And then of course, for the last one, this is an important one, a memory card. 
With a Leica Q3, you do have 61 megapixel files and they are not small. So I wanted to have a larger memory card. Now I gotta say, this was perfect timing. As I was looking at memory cards, Lexar actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out their new Silver Pro Series SD cards. I jumped on that opportunity and I've been using that card exclusively with my Leica Q3 now for about two months and I've been loving it. Having 512 gigs, having a fast card is super important to have a smooth experience and I have never thought about filling up the memory card. I think with the 512 gig card, you get over 2000 shots. I mean, you get more than enough to go out for a few days, if not a few weeks, without having to reformat your card. And as a whole, I highly recommend it. As a matter of fact, I actually started using Lexar when I switched over to Leica because of their SD cards. So previously, if you've seen my channel, I was a big fan of Sony Tough cards, and I still use Sony Tough SD cards on my Sony cameras. But because those SD cards are a little thicker, they do have compatibility issues with certain Leica bodies. And the last thing you wanna do is force an SD card on a very expensive camera. So when I switched over to Leica, I've used Lexar on all my Leica cameras and I've had a great experience. So I can highly recommend them. And that pretty much sums it up. The only thing I skipped over, the Peak Design strap. So if you've seen all my videos, you see all my cameras have the Peak Design anchors. I use Peak Design straps, and those are my preferred straps. I actually just ordered, I think they got in today, I gotta check the mail, uh, the Clever Supply leather camera strap with the Peak Design anchor points. So I can continue using my Peak Design anchors and have a leather strap. So once I use that, I'll do a review on it, but that sums up my accessories for the Leica Q3. In the end, what did you guys think? If you have a Leica Q, what accessories do you have? Any recommendations you wanna share, please drop it in the comments below. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace.